All right. Well, Jefferson Award winners are all unique. They choose something they're passionate about, no matter how big or small, and they use it to make a difference in their community. And Katie Kramer is this month's recipient of that award. She's a full-time nurse who works long hours and then spends her free time volunteering with the National Guard. Now, for the past 11 years, Katie has been tired but fulfilled, and she's sharing her story to inspire others to give back with whatever amount of free time they have. And then let's get you signed in here. Katie Kramer usually asks people how they feel. <laughs> but the Gunderson nurse says she learned a long time ago that someone's overall health is made up of so many different things. And the same philosophy applies to the homeless. When I talked to one patient in particular, I asked him about living in the tenting communities and why I was noticing a greater influx of homeless people coming into the hospital and he had told me that because of COVID precautions they had a decreased capacity in a lot of our shelters here in town. So Katie had an idea to bring health care to the people on the streets. Getting her co-workers involved was much easier than she expected. Explaining that aspect to those in the hospital immediately everyone felt encouraged that yes we agree they equally are deserving of of care and medical aid and love just as we would anyone in our hospital. Hearts in the Park completed its second year, and with each successful event comes new ideas and new ways to help the homeless. And what originally started as an idea to do just a drop-off of these medical supplies turned into a full-on holistic event where we were able to provide haircuts, beard trims, wound care, hot meals, meals to go, housing resources, addiction resources, sexual assault resources, all in one location um, with volunteer doctors and nurses from all over the area. Dude, that's so nice of you guys to do this stuff for us. Oh, absolutely. Katie's job as a nurse is a natural fit. She's been serving in so many capacities since she was a little girl. She credits her mother with planting that seed. So she got me involved with the American Cancer Society Relay for Life when I was really young, and I helped her with that for over a decade. And her father also played a role showing Katie the importance of serving her country. She's been a part of the National Guard for 11 years now. I get to use my unique talents in a way that gives back to those who have served before me, and that's really important to me. As for the future of the homeless in our community, Katie suspects she'll keep seeing them in the hospital. But if she doesn't, there's always hearts in the park. I'm just so thankful. I feel so thankful. I feel grateful, but I also feel um, that this is my duty to my community, that I need to step up, and if not me, then who? And, and so that's why I'm going to continue to do this, and I'm going to con continue to help as many people as I can. Now, Katie also performs with the National Guard singers. They actually travel around to nursing homes to visit the veterans. They also do funerals, and other, they're also on call for other veteran-based events. Gosh, she's certainly talented across a wide variety of I'm tired uh, just sets. thinking of her life. Yeah, naturally.